Okay, well, welcome back to Service Canine UK. Today is something a little bit different. Um, it's to do with the Indesit IDC 85 a tumble dryer. Um, this is from the UK, so different models may be in different countries. However, uh, an alarming uh, thing occurred two days ago. My wife put the tumble dryer on and came back as normal a few hours later and noticed that the start stop button wasn't working so dutifully I checked the fuse etc 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 and couldn't find anything went on YouTube to find out what could be the um, normal faults if you like uh, the standout things that happen and the I wouldn't say main but one of the first ones to look at after the fuse and the connection etc was the start stop button so I took it apart um, and got the the new start stop button the micro switch installed that still nothing and as I was beginning to replace the top and the lid and everything I just happened to notice something in the top uh, corner at the back so I'll show you what I found um, apologies for the lighting I'm holding a handheld garage maintenance LED light so bear with me please so I took the, uh, the lid off just remove it to one side and in the just place the light so we can see In this top, as we look at it, top right hand corner at the back, this cable here, the brown live feed cable, had actually burnt the spade, the female end was still attached to the, I don't know if you can see it, how badly shorted and burnt and corroded, but this, this cable here, you can still see a bit of melting on the plastic. That actually shorted out, burnt, and was apart from that spade, that spade end connector. So I noticed, obviously, that that's the reason why I've got no power. I can't find anything on the YouTube about this particular problem, but as you can probably make out, if I go a little bit nearer, you can see it is actually burnt. And if I remove the connector, you can see the carbonisation where it's all burnt through. Now, I'm not very happy with this, um, and my wife certainly is, isn't. Um, she thinks it's a fire hazard. Now, I say I've not come across this. Nobody's mentioned it, and I can't find anything about it. So just be warned. There may be an issue with this particular model. I'm now going to check um, any loose wires, any loose. And that's I'm pulling the back. You see that I'm I'm pulling that quite firmly, and it's just moving. Um, all I can think of, it wasn't quite connected there using the female male spade so what I'm going to do I'm going to put a new one on I'm not an electrician but it seems fairly basic everything's unplugged obviously make sure that everything is unplugged from the the mains plugs out etc and uh, I'm going to uh, attempt to put it back so you won't know it but a couple of minutes time you should see the new replacement ah. Okay, well I've now crimped a new female on, um, it's not going to pull off, so I'm just going to try it. I may need to replace this male bit as well if it doesn't work, um, it's quite badly scorched, but we'll see. 
So now I'm going to fit the connectors together. So that's now on. I'm going to give it a little test to see if it makes a connection. Um, but I will keep an eye on it and if, if I need to, I will replace the both the spade male and female connectors and possibly even cut back the wire. But uh, I want to see if it works first. So I've uh, plugged the wire, the mains in, um, the lid is off. I am aware that it's now quite dangerous, so be very careful. Um, the door is shut. I'm now going to turn it on. Doesn't really matter what it do, just click it on. And then I'm going to switch it on and see what happens. There may be sparks, who knows. Here goes. So press the button in. And there we have it. That's the problem. As I say, I don't know whether... Just turn this off. I don't know whether the manufacturers are aware of it or not. Um, we've had this uh, maybe two years. We've had the modification with the fluff filters to stop it catching fire. But I was very, very alarmed, shocked to see that this had happened and it uh, hadn't tripped any of the fuses or any of the RCDs or anything like that built into my room. So I will keep an eye on it. Um, so, so very worrying. If anyone else has uh, had any problems, just let me know in the comments below. So this is basically a temporary fix um, just to keep uh, the tumble dryer going for a while but um, yeah very alarmed that should be okay for a while luckily um, this is in a an annex if you like to the house it's not connected to the house um, it's what we call the annex. It was an old teenager granny flat type thing. And we keep a couple of fridge freezers and the tumble dryer there. But yeah, other than that, forget about all that. Um, yeah, very alarming. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the lid back on. Connect it all back up as it should be. And we'll see how we go. So uh, once again, if uh, you like what you see... Please subscribe for more. So this is the unusual one. It's normally dog and vehicle related, this channel. But I just thought it needed to be brought to someone's attention, really. So, end of it. Are you aware? Okay. Thanks for watching. As I always say. <laughs>